You're watching Beige Bay TV. It's fitness expert and your Beige Bay, Edwina Chia. So what if I told you that there was a superfood out there that was great for your skin, good for the brain, would help relieve muscle pain, promote digestion, and then reduce cholesterol as well? Sounds like a dream, right? You'd be like, sign me up. Well, turmeric is taking over the wellness community as having documented success in aiding those factors. And here to talk about the benefits is Golden Glow founder and My Beige Bay of the Week, Sarah Vakil. Hi, Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell me about, you know, for somebody who's never really heard about turmeric and the, in the benefits, tell me what, what it is first. Turmeric is a root similar to ginger, but it's kind of like yellow orangish. Mm -hmm. And you would probably mostly see it as grinded in form of powder in supermarkets. Okay. Uh, but nowadays you can find it in some ethnic stores or even Whole Foods. You could find the root. And uh, it's one of the most magical uh, foods uh, in the er on the earth. <laughs> okay, great. And so talk to me about how you discovered turmeric and, you know, why it's benef been beneficial for you. Sure. Um, so actually my background is Persian. So okay. growing up, uh, you know, that was incorporated into our food. It was, uh, you know, whatever mom cooks, she puts a dash of turmeric okay. in there. So you grew up with it regularly every Yeah, day. but I was never aware of like what it was or what it did. It was, mm -hmm. I think, also partly in the culture. Like they put it for the taste of it and for like, you know, it's known to take to get the smell of the chicken or, you know, so it's just like it's really it's part of the food, um, like spices. Mm -hmm. And when you grow up with something, you take it for granted and you like I, n I never was curious about what it was, didn't really know much about the benefits of it. Mm -hmm. um, fast forward actually a couple of years ago when I was working out a lot also as a consultant I was traveling Monday through Thursday so just on the plane all the time and I just kind of had this like chronic pain and soreness mm -hmm. um, so uh, one of my trainers suggested that I take turmeric pills mm -hmm. So I bought the turmeric pills and I started taking them and my parents are both physicians. So one, t one day my dad is over and he was like, what is that you're taking? And I told him I was taking turmeric pills. Mm -hmm. He just kind of like laughed at me. He's like, you know, you're passing that through. Apparently wow. like curcumin, which is the um, medicinal ingredient um, in uh, turmeric, it's very hard to absorb to our body. Okay. Um, so the best way to really digest it and for the body to be absorbed um, is, or it would be absorbed to your body is um, to take it with pepper or oil, okay. um, which will help absorb to your body. And um, so I was uh, taking the pills and I started doing some research and I so, actually- and then the, p the pills just don't have the pepper or anything else in it it's just some straight pills turmeric. do have now but like any other thing like if you eat the source it's better than you know kind of uh taking the process like formed into pill, pill form of yeah it. pill mm -hmm. form of it right um so i started doing some research and i actually came across this, this study that bbc had conducted Okay. that they actually had three groups. They put one group on placebo pills, they put one group on turmeric pills, mm -hmm. and the third group actually ate and drank turmeric in their food and beverages. Okay. And after six weeks, they saw um, actually major noticeable change in the cells of the third group who had taken turmeric via food and beverage. Okay. And uh, so there are a lot of studies right now for anti-carcinogenics impact of it because it actually, if you take it consistent, consistently, it has the ability to um, change cells at the physiological level. Oh, wow. Okay, so we, yeah, we haven't touched on the benefits. I know I mentioned it at the beginning, but talk to me about what, what the major benefits are and maybe how you've personally experienced it. Sure. Um, so it's interesting. There's this saying, I've got 99 problems and turmeric solved like 86 of oh, that. That's pretty good odds. <laughs> <laughs> it's really interesting. Once you Google it, there are numerous benefits. And uh, 
you know, obviously the most common benefit is, is one of the most potent anti-inflammatory foods. Mm, okay. um, so it's always been known for that. It's a very strong antioxidant. Okay. And as you mentioned, you know, it's, uh, there's been studies that it helps potentially with Alzheimer's disease, wow. even, um, you know, in some cases, uh, preventing cancer or reversing cancer, um, diabetics, uh, weight loss, oh, okay. many wow. different, um, you know, things that like, you know, if you Google, you'll just like, wow, this is crazy that one, you know, food can do this. And do all these things. Yeah. yeah. Um, but what I can tell you from my own experience was that when I started taking turmeric consistently, mm -hmm. I actually, um, you know, started feeling this difference of like, you know, I would go boxing and I come back and I'm like, how come I'm not in pain? Did I not work out hard enough today? Because that's what I was associating working out with. Like afterwards, I had to be sore in order to feel that I had done it right and I mm -hmm. worked hard. So that went away. And another thing that I had read a lot about, but it wasn't really, I guess my focus wasn't there because I didn't start taking it for skin problems, but I, my mom was away out of country for three months. She comes back and she's like, what have you done to your skin? And I was like, nothing. She's like, are you taking anything? Have you, you know, changed your cream? I'm like, nope. And it just hit me that it actually had cleared out my skin. I oh, had wow. some adult acne and I just kind of figure out as I'm getting older, maybe like, you know, I'm just kind of getting rid of the acne, but it was actually that moment of, oh wow, wow. this has been helping with my skin as well. So, and how long have you been taking the turmeric yourself? When you say you went on a, a program, was it a 30 days? Like, what was, how, how consistent was it? Yeah, I think, you know, originally when I started, obviously it, it's kind of a misconception that people are like, take turmeric, it's a great anti-inflammatory, or there are like smoothies that are being sold as anti-inflammation, you know, smoothies. Mm -hmm. It's really not one of those things that you take one shot or one dose of it and your mm -hmm. inflammation goes away. Mm -hmm. um, it really needs consistency. And I think once I started taking it consistently for like six weeks, okay. um, I started seeing difference and I started feeling different. Okay. And you know, to this day, if I like skip it like for a week or for a few days, I. I just kind of like start feeling it. In what ways do you think that it has benefited you in terms of the way you feel? I, I think it's just really post-workouts for me. It's okay. one of the big things. And that's really because, you know, I my passion is health and wellness and I'm very active in the fitness community. And um, that just started from my own personal journey. And now I feel like I want to tell the world and I want to tell all my surrounding in the fitness community about mm -hmm. it because I think it's like, a, you know, obviously when you put your body through trauma and like, you mm -hmm. know, you do your, you know, as a fitness expert, you know yourself yeah. um, with um, hard workout, you are, you know, working your body and it causes inflammation. Right. And yeah. we all carry chronic inflammation both in our bodies mm -hmm. and brain. And what I found was actually the brain inflammation c could cause depression. That is the cause of depression, oh, partly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, you know, I want to say not that I was depressed before, but like, it's just like, I, I've also, you know, noticed a difference in my mood and energy level. Okay. Um, but, you know, I mean, I have a healthy diet overall, but I think this has definitely been a game changer for me. Okay, all right. So you would say the active recovery, you would say your total mood, and then just uh, in terms of your, your skin, it was just, it's been, you know, uh, noticeably different for people around you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. if I were to like highlight three big impacts that I've personally experienced, you hit it right on. Okay, all right, yeah. great. And let's talk about how you prepare it. So. What's, what's the different ways that you could we could do it? Sure. So I originally, when you know I started using turmeric, is a very bitter powder on its own, mm -hmm. and it's kind of hard to be used daily. And it was just like, what do I do with this every mm -hmm. day? Like, you know, how do I put it in my food? And that's a question that still comes up a lot when I talk to people about turmeric. They're like, 
I know the benefits of it. I just don't know how to put it in my food or how mm -hmm. to incorporate. So I'm just taking the pills because that's right. just an easy way. To and I go. think maybe growing up in diversity, I know like with me, uh, we had a lot of turmeric in our house because we used to eat a lot of curries. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously my mother would work with a lot of uh, spices like that. But if you if it doesn't grow up in, if you don't grow up in that culture, um, exactly. that it's, uh, it's kind of a very foreign spice and it's kind of spicy and it, you don't really know how to prepare to it. it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, when I want, like I started, I'm, I'm kind of a foodie and I can taste stuff in my head and I love to just mix and match stuff and create these random things. Okay. Um, so when I started with turmeric, I just kind of started mixing a bunch of spices that I liked and I had just gotten into superfoods and mm -hmm. was um, taking a lot of maca and my smoothies at the time. So I started incorporating those also in my blend okay. and created just a blend for myself that I could literally just put a teaspoon of it on the go on into anything. Okay. Um, because, you know, traveling and just being so busy, I didn't have time every single time to mix the turmeric with a bunch of other stuff that I wanted. So this kind of became my household staple. And like every time anyone would come over, they're like, hey, can you make me that turmeric drink you make me? And like, you know, we put it in also like hot coconut milk or almond milk as a, as golden milk, or you could like froth it as turmeric latte. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this, uh, it just kind of like, you know, organically grew that way. And mm -hmm. I, what was important for me was there's so many golden milks you can have mm -hmm. every week. So I wanted to be able to use it in different ways. I okay. wanted to be able to put it in my smoothie, put it in my egg whites, put it over my vegetables, mix it with rice, mm -hmm. just so many different uses. And then when I came across the blend and it worked with multiple things, I just got curious and I'm like, let me try this with other superfoods. Okay. And um, you know, that's how I came up with the one with cacao, which has more of a sweet taste to it and it's much better for like sweet treats and okay. oatmeal. I love to just put a teaspoon in oatmeal oh, or wow. my pancake mix or when I make paleo pancake, just put a teaspoon in there. Okay, so it's like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and in between, you can add the, the turmeric. Yep, mm -hmm, the, the whole purpose of the Golden Glow blend was so you can just get your dose of turmeric mm -hmm. in however way you want to. Okay. And also, you know, nowadays with our modern living, mm -hmm. it's, you know, time is limited. And mm -hmm. if something is hard to do, you're not gonna do. I mean, right. some of us don't have the luxury of, you know, just sitting there getting our turmeric roots and grinding it or, yeah. um, you know, going and buying turmeric shots every day. Yes. So I just wanted something that could help people, um, you know, I mean, essentially help myself first to like incorporate turmeric in an easy way into my diet. Mm -hmm. And then the more I received positive feedback, the more I was like, I got to do something with this. This mm -hmm. is my calling, like, you know, this is what I've been looking for to um, be able to really make an impact and help other people. Absolutely. And that's really how Golden Glow was born. Okay, well, great. And you're doing such a great job at it. And, you know, so the different blends that we could we could pick up from your website, is it, or? Yeah, so, so I currently, we pre-launch in March. Mm -hmm. I currently sell it on the website. Mm -hmm. It's golden with Y, G-O-L-D-Y-N, glow.com mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, we are launching actually nationally in um, October okay and it's going to be on my website it's going to be on Amazon and I've had so many studios reaching out already yoga meditation Amazing. Um, workout studios reaching out who want to carry it so Oh, You're going to see us in New York and L.A. in a lot of different studios as well. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Very, Thank very you. Nice work. Yeah. So, and my last question for you today is we at Beige Bay TV like to ask, what do you never leave the house without? So if there's three things that you, you your go-to, what, what do you need to carry out your day? Okay. 
Well, I, this, this is probably going to be the most boring answer you've gotten so far. I'm very practical. So for me, it's like that works. my phone, my credit card, and my bottle of water. Your bottle of water? Yeah. Okay, you've got to add that fourth one in there, the turmeric, right? <laughs> <laughs> because you can take it on the go as well. Oh, it? totally. And I mean, the ultimate goal is also to create to-go packages that you could literally... I have like these small containers right now that I just carry around and... When I talk to people, they're like, oh my God, I want to try them. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> my goodness. Sarah, thank you so much for coming in today and being my beige bait of the week. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you out there, guys, for watching Beige Bay TV, celebrating diversity, challenging stereotypes, and having a laugh while we're at it. I'm your Beige Bay fitness expert, Edwina Chia. Until next time, say hi to your dad for me.